A heart attack is more of a plumbing or circulatory thing where there's this sudden disruption in the blood flow in a coronary artery. The heart myocytes, which are dependent upon that blood flow for the oxygen and the fuel for the work that it does, that segment of the heart muscle is starting to die, right? So people have symptoms that can vary in their quality and intensity and location, but they often have some diffuse chest discomfort, might have jaw or back or, um, or arm radiation but the heart muscle's dying and we can diagnose that on the EKG. We can diagnose it with these heart enzymes because as the heart muscle dies, those cells break open, we can measure the enzymes in their blood. You hear people talk about troponins. I wanna know what the EKG looks like. I wanna know what the troponins look like. So that's a heart attack. Sometimes people with heart attack have a cardiac arrest and I look upon that less as a plumbing thing, but more of an electrical thing where they go into this chaotic, electrical rhythm where there's no effective cardiac output and there's no perfusion to the head, they lose consciousness. And if it's identified quickly in the setting, if somebody has a cardiac arrest in the setting of a heart attack, we usually can defibrillate them and then give them medicines to stabilize their rhythm as we quickly move them down the hallway to do a heart catheterization to try to open the artery that started the whole problem in the first place. People can have a cardiac arrest who aren't having a heart attack and that's obviously a, a quick differentiation because people are found down in the field, right? They're found down cutting their grass or in a mall. CPR is a, is a technique uh, that is utilized in cardiac arrest to try to maintain some perfusion of blood to the head and to the rest of the body while you're working on restoring the rhythm and treating the underlying cause. And I've seen some um, very um, heartwarming events over the years. I have a patient who I still follow who probably 20 years ago was found by his teenage daughter to be unresponsive in his office at home. And she knew to do CPR while they called 911. She saved her father's life. You know, the time it takes for someone to have brain death after um, a cardiac arrest is a very short period of time, depending on a lot of factors. Bystander CPR is incredibly important, greatly improves the odds of somebody surviving. It greatly improves the odds of them surviving to the point that you can correct the underlying cause of their cardiac arrest.